So uh, my friend Kevin was supposed to call in last week. He wasn't able to call in because he went to a movie. So I'm going to call him now because I wanted to get him on the line. Um, he's a comedian from Toronto. Uh, he was, if you've ever seen the movie I did called Filth City, which I'm going to try to get them to put it back online because it was on YouTube and then it got pulled off of YouTube. But I'm going to try and get it put up. He was in Filth City with me. We started doing comedy together. Um, he's a good dude. And I'm going to call him and hopefully he's going to pick up. And let's see what he's up to. And then we're going to open the phone lines. Hello. Kevin Soldo. How are you doing? Yes. How Who is this? You know I don't answer phone calls often. This is your best friend, Danny Polischuk. You are on low value mail right now. How are you doing? Hold on. I'm gonna Kevin, I didn't get the best photo of you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put a photo up on you on the screen just so people can know uh, what you look like. It's not current. It's not a current photo, which I think is doing you a bit of a favor, to be honest. But how are you doing, Kevin? I'm good. I'm now more cautious as to what photo you possibly I took up. the one. Rem- okay, so actually, good story. So if it's the so um, I just Googled your name. There are not a lot of photos come up and certainly not a lot of flattering photos. So uh, probably about seven years ago, Kevin. So I'm just going to so they say he looks like a crackhead. So um. About seven years ago, Kevin wasn't really into drugs. And then I got a link, a hookup on uh, tanks of nitrous oxide, of laughing gas. Remember that, Kevin? Remember when oh, we used to. Yeah, remember that little like period of our lives when we were doing laughing gas? Wasn't that fun? But so we were, we were, yeah, at, we were at my that office. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. So we were at the office that we had and we were doing laughing gas one night. And um, you and our, our buddy Alex, another comedian who lives in New York, I don't remember the exact details, but we were doing laughing gas, and then you were talking shit to Alex to make him sit down because you can pass out from laughing gas, and then you took a hit, passed out, fell face first onto the ground, and your glasses broke, and you split your eye open. Remember that? Well, no. Remember the chair had a broken arm. Yes, right, 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 right. right. Lean back. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You lean to the side. But as I leaned back, I fell out of the chair. Yeah, yeah. No, no. You lean to the side because it had a broken arm, and you lean to the side, and then it just like gave out. And then, uh, but anyway, yeah, so looking back at it now, it really seems more like it was a gag. Like you guys tricked me and put me in that broken chair. I would do no such thing. Uh, you know me, Kevin. I would do no such thing. But anyways, that's the photo. Remember the photo of you smoking? Because that was right around the time you took up yeah. smoking at the age of 30. Uh, um, yeah, that was because of New York, actually, man. I was so yeah, yeah. stressed out when I... It was such a culture shock. Right, right, right. Yeah, so you moved to New York and this is... But anyway, so... Um, Kevin, how are you doing? How are things in Toronto? Uh, you know, it's good, man. I got boots on the ground, front row tickets to the fucking apocalypse of the world. It's nice. What do you mean, apocalypse of the world? So, so Kevin, you have been... So, you've had a bit of a win recently, I guess you could say it. Uh... Because they, they've eliminated the... So you are not... Uh, you're against the vaccine, which this... Just like to say, YouTube, if you're listening, we are not spreading vaccine misinformation. This is not medical misinformation. Yeah, for a second. I have never no. disclosed my medical information to anybody. I am just pro-choice. Okay, so Kevin is pro-choice. On vaccine mandates. I'm very anti-abortion. Oh, okay. So, okay, there we go. So Kevin is just a pro-choice. But anyways, Toronto has reopened, Correct. Uh, yeah, more or less, man. It's, it feels like it's back to normal. I'm in the parking lot of a movie theater. I'm going to go watch a movie. Another movie and, last uh, week? let my kind back in. Yeah, yeah, So you're allowed to go back into, because you were pro-choice uh, uh, that you were. I was what? You were pro, you're pro-choice is, is what you were. Yes, yes. I just want to make sure that people have the opportunity to select their own, uh, bodily autonomy and that same goes with abortions uh no that's that uh, then jesus <laughs> christ comes in man it's ah i got it oh, okay okay so so you are only sometimes pro-choice um but so anyways that's they- right pro-choice only means your own body but as soon as there's a heartbeat 
Yeah. Then once there's a once everything. there's a heartbeat. Okay, cool. Um, so, anyways, but so you're you're back. You're allowed to be living in. Do you have? Are there any restrictions on you now? Are you um, are you allowed to fly? No. I still can't fly. I'm not allowed to fly yet on a Canadian airline. But if it's a non-Canadian can, airline, you could. Yes, if it's going to a non uh, like mandated location. Okay, so that's cool. Do you have any plans to? Can you go on a a bus? No, no, they haven't let me back on the bus yet. <laughs> they haven't let me back on the bus yet. Someone says that uh, can't be the best picture of this guy. Should I get a better picture of you, Kevin? <laughs> People are I mean, people are not liking you know, the picture. You know, I, I thought that was a good picture. Um, you don't have a lot of people c- might just think I'm like deranged in the head if you use that photo, Kevin. And I, I mean, I don't myself a pretty well rounded and well adjusted. Guy. I don't mean to be a piece of shit, but you are deranged, dude. There's like no photos of you online, and I'm sure you're saying good. But there are. I, I'm actually pretty psyched about that. That's pretty. Kevin uh, worked hard at that. Kevin, one of the yeah, there's not. The f- only three fo- photos. This is the most current photo. Is the one you smoking with your eye banged up? This is the most current photo. I mean, man, just go on, go on my Instagram. You know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I'm in the middle of doing this stream, and I'd have to go I, save the photo, and I gotta go log into well, Instagram. Whatever you're doing, how are you pulling up the photo right now? Period. Just I'm just googling. I'm just googling it on Chrome. Okay, yeah, you can't just, like, look up and screenshot. Well, I'd have to go log into uh, fucking... Ugh. Okay, Jesus, I don't want to trouble you. I mean, you're you're the one scaring off your customers. What do you oh, I'm not scaring to... them off. They're saying I did you a disservice. People are saying, does he still have the beard? Yes, he still has the beard. And they're actually mostly offended by your... Um, by your uh, fedora in the photo. That's what they don't like. Okay, you know what? Here's a good photo. That fun. wasn't my fedora. That was a borrowed fedora. Who borrows a fedora? <laughs> I don't know. I took it because of the sake of the photo. I was smoking. I was in a bit of a mess. I just smashed my face open. So, you know, I thought uh, a cigarette would help, and then someone put a fedora on me and took a photo. What do you want? Okay, so I got some good news for you, Kevin. I think I figured out how to uh, get a better photo of you. Um, and no, oh, some, so I just tried to down, oh my God, I just tried to download this fucking photo and it just downloaded all your Instagram photos, every single one of them, Kevin. That's good. That's, I have a, a, it's a hack I did. So if you even like one of my photos, I actually get access to your email and then I spam you every day with tour dates. Okay, here we go. I got a good one of you doing comedy. That's Kevin, everybody. That is a more current uh, thing. So so everything's good in Toronto, then? I mean, no, man. The city's still off, but yeah, things are better in that sense. Um, are you trying to get some sort of revenge for what they've done to you for the past two years? Like, is revenge on the table for you? Uh, I would like to see. I would like to see public hangings towards politicians. That would be nice. Oh yeah, that's not going to be good for I my think, YouTube uh, channel. YouTube, I do what? not condone. No, no. I do not condone public executions of. Wait, is this a live show? I thought we edited everything. I we thought do, this, you stuff out. This is live. Uh, this is live. Now people are saying now you look homeless. Is that a homeless David uh, Cross? Well, is what, what they're saying. Do, man? People, people are. Uh, people will always, you know, think what they see. There's a lot of haters out there. A lot of haters. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, how's it over there? How how are you it's over fine. there, so the, far away in that far away land of New uh, York? Of New York, it's fine. Um, they got rid of the vaccine passport as well here. Uh, and then uh, I think that's it. But I, it wasn't even. How are people? How are people with masks over there? Here, they're still pretty mentally ill about it. Oh, in New York, there's, we have our, I mean, dude, there's people who are never going back to not wearing masks, just like it was in Asia. Uh, do you remember going to Asia? Remember where you went? When did, when, uh, what, when what year did you go? I guarantee you that's I went not true. 2018, and man, on the islands, nobody wore Maybe masks. on the islands, nobody no. Had. Maybe the on the islands, that, no. The but... people that wore masks were legit doing like they were working on car exhaust. Yeah, that yeah. Was their, that, that was their. Job. But in the cities, they would, they would pick up battery acid in the street. Yeah, yeah. But in the cities, in you know, all over Asia, the mask stuff is pretty normal. Like you see them, not like everybody's wearing yeah, them. But, but that but, was purely that was purely for pollution too. No, that's also just their germs and like disease and stuff. 
Yeah, um, see, I don't know, man. It looks weird. You walk around the city now, and it looks like everybody's trying to be a, a open heart surgeon. It's yeah. Um, do you yell at Do you yell at strangers ever? No, man. I, I'm not. I'm just done with it all. I just don't play the game whatsoever. You know, when people like, I just go to places normal. Some people look at you weird. Some people don't. Well, uh, here's some a little fun. Are really cool with you. Yeah, yeah. Here's a little fun fact about Kevin is you probably, you might hold some sort of world record for going the longest without wearing a mask. You didn't wear a mask until like, what, 18 months into the pandemic? Was the first time you had to put one on to go overseas? Yeah, pretty much on the plane, man. I never wore one once in the city of Toronto, ever. I got into a fight with bylaw officers. I, I you know, got oh, actually, conversations with plenty of people. Can we, can we talk about this? So you got, um, you got fined, is that correct? Oh, I got fine coming back. Can you, can you talk, do you want to talk about that? Uh, yeah, sure, man. That was, that was, I think everybody should, uh, um, everybody should do it. Everybody should try some sort of, uh, disobedience towards it. Yeah. Because it was a very weird situation. When I came back, they wanted you, first of all, you weren't allowed on the plane without a negative test result. This is coming back from Europe. So I had to, coming back from Europe, I had to obtain a negative test result, which I did. Yeah. Coming on the plane, they won't let you into, onto the plane. I saw transferred in Portugal. They wouldn't let us get on the plane in Portugal unless we filled out that Arrive Can. uh, Yeah, 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 I've had the Arrive Can app. Tracking data app. Yeah, yeah, I've had to fill that app. The entire purpose is to track you and send you and, like, notify you if you're too close to things. Yeah, yeah. Um, So you you refuse to do the Arrive Can app. Well, I couldn't refuse that because then they wouldn't have allowed me on the flight. So what I did was I filled it out with complete false information. <laughs> I, I made up everything but my name. Okay. My name was the only thing that was real, and then everything, address, phone number, everything. I just threw random words and numbers into an equation. Okay. So then you got you get to customs uh, coming, in Canada. I get to customs in Canada. They, they, they pull up, they, you know, do the regular thing. Uh, you know, and they ask me, they go, where are you quarantining? And I go, I'm not. And she goes, okay. And then she does that double take. Like she, she didn't clue in that I said no. Yeah. And then she goes, wait, what did you say? And I go, I'm not quarantining. And this I is like what? Last summer? This is last summer? Uh, yeah, this was, this was August of 21. Okay. So you go, I'm not quarantining. So, so Suck a fucking tailpipe lady. I'm, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm not doing it. And, uh, and, uh, the lady goes, okay, that's fine. You're just going to have to deal with Health Canada. And I go, yeah, sure. And Health Canada's to the side. They send you to Health Canada. And Health Canada is just, dude, it's these, it's hard to talk about this without sounding like prejudice or whatever. But it was all these foreigners. That Kevin, we're working for you, Health Canada. What do you mean foreigners? What does that mean? <laughs> what I country? Mean, what do you mean? They're just it, not. It, Kevin, where is your family from? Uh, my family is foreigners too, right? They've never previously <laughs> been able also, to get a job in any form of government. Yeah, but your family's also foreigners. You're just yes, saying people who are not born in Canada. But, yes, but they've been rejected by the system many of times for being foreign. Who you're? Right. Oh, you're Somehow, so so. Are you, one, you're angry because they kind of were accepted by the system. They got these cushy government well, yeah, they, jobs, hassling. First of all, they stole all of our government jobs. <laughs> no, but this is what was interesting. They were foreigners, and you could just tell that they were like foreign to the fullest extent of a. Uh, they weren't even familiar with uh, like Canadian laws and rules. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, they haven't been here long enough to be familiar with what the fuck's going on. Okay. So, so the guy is pleading with me. The guy is pleading with me to just take the ticket. Yeah. Like, to just take the quarantine. He goes, please, just do the quarantine. It's only 14 days. And did and he I'm know like, that he was dealing with one of the most stubborn people on planet Earth? He had no idea. Like, I think he, <laughs> he didn't know. He didn't clue in at any point. I was thinking, like, because I tried to lay it on thick, but he was just not getting it, right? Yeah, he goes, I don't get it. Yeah. So, uh, I, I'm just explaining. I'm asking him. I'm like, hey, man, do we get to, do I get to fight the ticket? Are we still in a, uh, 
a democratic country where we have <laughs> like you know the right to due process. Right? Yeah, and yeah. He, he had no idea what I was saying. Yeah. And I go, can I take it to court? And he goes, yes, you can take it to court. I go, then write the ticket. He goes, you don't understand. We have to write you a ticket for five thousand dollars for every day of quarantine you miss. Which would be what right? seventy thousand dollars? Yes. And and dude, I've never like I've never even gotten paid seventy thousand dollars. <laughs> so I would even love to see it swing anyway, right? If you could get you just want to see Kevin, you just want to see a piece of paper with your name on it that has seventy thousand dollars somewhere on it, regardless of exactly. if you're paying exactly. or being paid. It's you're like, like uh, just put seventy thousand yeah, dollars near if, my if name. If you're gonna do something. Right? If you're gonna if you're gonna put my name with some kind of stink, whether it's plus or minus seventy grand, I, I've never seen it. I'd love to see it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I so I I tell the guy, yeah, let's write this up because I'm getting excited at this point, right? I'm like, I want to see an eighty thousand dollar ticket, and the guy's just pleading with me, please, sir, please, you don't understand. <laughs> then the cops show up, and the cops are like, hey, what's the problem? I'm like, oh, there's no problem. I'm just refusing the quarantine. And he's just like he's begging me to take the quarantine. Yes. Yeah, so, by the way, someone in the comments said, "You know, you could just say you're quarantined and then just not do it." <laughs> <laughs> well, I man, listen, I had no problem. I had no problem shaking that tree. I wanted to. I wanted yeah, yeah. to pick up that dust. I was happy to do it. And uh, and uh, uh, Taylor was with me. She took the quarantine, right? So we took both perspectives. We like really did a. Yeah, uh, thorough investigation. Okay, you know, we really we really narrowed it down. So so uh, the guys like pleading with me. The cops are going like, "Well, why won't you just quarantine?" I <laughs> and I tell the cops, I go straight up because I don't buy any of this stuff. This is all a scam to scare people to to listen to these dumb rules. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And then the cops like, "Well, you know, these are dangerous times, and you know, we got to do these things." And I'm like. No, you don't. I was just in Eastern Europe. It doesn't exist there. Like, there is no mask. There's no checking. There's no nothing. Yeah. There was nothing there. So so you're telling them this. And then it's that realization of, like, man, these guys haven't left. They've been stuck here. They have no idea what's happening anywhere else in the world. Yeah. So, so they were cool about it. The cops were like, well, we're just here to keep the peace and make sure nobody, like, gets nasty. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, I got no, let's. You know, let's speed this thing up. And then the cops leave. Then the guy's asking me, he's still bit like he's like his hand starts hurting from writing all these tickets, right? <laughs> and, That's what happens and, when you write seventy G's like, worth of tickets. Well, well, he's getting nervous too, right? He starts getting nervous, I guess, because maybe he hasn't written this many yet or whatever. And so he's like, was he like, I don't know if the numbers go this high. Yeah, he's looking over all the information like eight times over. Am I putting the name in the right spot? All this stuff, right? And so, and so the whole time, at one point, we, we were like 40 minutes in, and I go to the guy, I go, hey, man, can you hurry it up a bit? I got somebody waiting for me outside. I need to speed this up a bit. And, and then he kind of gets like taken back by that. He's like, you know, I really have to uh, do a lot of work here. And then he gets help from his buddy. His buddy chimes in. This other kid who's young, man, they're young people, too. Yeah. And he's like, excuse me, sir, he has a lot of work to do. Why don't you just leave him alone? And he goes, and where's your mask, by the way? Right? Because <laughs> when I got, when they gave me a mask, they gave me a mask. And I, I love how they're writing you $70,000 worth of tickets, and they go, hey, where's your mask, buddy? And you go, how much yeah, is that? Goes, how much so does that cost goes, me? Five, another 5K? That's just that's add it on. He goes, he goes like this. He goes, uh, where's your mask? I go, why? Is there a fine for that, too? He goes, yep. I go, well, hurry up and write it, because i got to get out of here. And so, so he goes and he writes it, and the guy ended up being full of shit. It was actually, it wasn't $5,000 a day. It was $5,000 for the entire quarantine. He oh. fucked up. That's a good deal. So what they gave me was five thousand plus tax plus fees. So it worked out to like six thousand and change. Okay. So uh, they end up giving me one for not quarantining, one for not taking the PCR test, and then one for uh, not having the mask. Okay. And, uh, and that was about six grand. And it added up to like yeah, eighteen grand, just over eighteen. Oh, grand. oh, you guys, okay, eighteen grand, yeah. 
that was the total. The total was eighteen thousand, and I just ended up uh, I ended up putting it into the court system, and uh, I've yet to receive anything, man. I, and I don't even know if I will. Literally, like two weeks after. So you I go, I'm that, fighting this. The whole point is, you go, I'm going to fight this. Business. We're taking this to the top. We're taking this to the mayor's office. Yeah, I want to speak to a manager of this courtroom or wh- however this fucking kangaroo court works. Yeah, and then and you've done this, and you haven't heard back. Yeah, I haven't heard back, man. They they really didn't uh, they didn't come after me yet. I don't know, man. I, uh, you know, I I don't uh, I don't have that uh, that kind of money, so they can you know try to yeah try to come more importantly. Be very little do they know that you're going to be representing yourself in court <laughs> if this gets to trial. Uh, that's right. I am my own legal representative. Yeah. <laughs> You know, well, it's really gonna be at the end of the day, we're just looking for the most amount of stage time, right? You Absolutely. Need to get you a microphone on that oh band, God, they're gonna fuck up so like badly. I can at least do a few hours. Oh yeah, yeah. Kevin's gonna be bring his notebook up. Is like, is that your legal notes? You go. I don't know. These are just my jokes. Just gonna see. What, <laughs> it's gonna be running a few things. These are bits I'm working on, and they're still relatable today. Nice. Um. um and so you don't know, but you don't yeah. know when that's coming to, coming through here. You don't know when, uh, it, or or you're thinking you're just never going to hear about this again. I don't know, man. I truthfully don't know. I, I don't know. I had a speeding ticket once a long time ago, once upon a time, where I went to file the ticket to fight it in court because I do fight all my own court cases. And yeah, I yeah, yeah you know, you're myself. you're not you're not uh, uh, a stranger to going to f- fight these court cases. You're a you're a big proponent. No, man, of... it, it, it really gives me something to do during the day. You know, our gigs are usually nighttime, and this is just some daytime activity, right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I went to I went to battle the ticket, and they said that the cop who gave me the ticket never filed it on his end, so the ticket just never existed. You nice. know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, yeah. It, uh, it, it, and it feels like that may be what happens with this one. Hopefully, that would be nice. Okay. Well, please keep us updated. On this, because uh, a lot of people like your story, and uh, they like you, and uh, definitely hope hope this works out for you. Um, and if it doesn't, yeah, I have a, I have a GoFundMe. I have a GoFundMe for that uh, those tickets. How could you support the GoFundMe uh, after it, what it, they did to those Canadian Patriots? Uh, well, you know, did you go to uh, Ottawa? I, the only... yeah, I did, man. I did. I went to see it for myself. How was that? Uh, I went to I went to check it out, man. I, I have to. Uh... It's that close. You know what I mean? It's four hours away. There's nothing yeah, yeah. else we can do. Uh, I really wanted to see it firsthand, and it was very interesting to see, man. It was interesting to see how fast information travels. Yeah. Like, even how fast it takes for, like, uh, you know, the Toronto news meme accounts to get information versus how long it actually happens. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was just talking about that, that earlier in the episode. Were you? Well, I was just saying how, did you see when there was the nuclear reactor, they were getting uh, shot up at the in Ukraine or whatever? There was a firefight, and then all the news for like 24 hours were like elevated radiation levels and all this shit, and then I just like went on Twitter like 20 minutes after it happened, and someone was like, yeah, it's fine. There was like a fire at an adjacent building, and it's out, and it's not a big deal. But all the news was like, yes, took forever to get it. I have many Ukrainian sources that, uh, and Russian sources that say many different things uh, these days. Nice. Uh, compared to what's happening on the news. <laughs> uh, but, you know... Uh, <laughs> what's your, you know, okay, was, okay. You know what, man? It really was... It was interesting to see how uh, how media plays things out when you're actually there firsthand uh, witnessing it and experiencing would you, it. You know, would you like almost there's, there's, go uh, out on a limb and say that sometimes the media is liars? You know, man, I never thought I'd be the kind of guy to say this, but <laughs> I don't think the media is being entirely truthful with us. No? And, and I really don't know what it is, and I feel crazy just saying it, but yeah, something about the way they report is just... Just uh, something, something you can't quite put your finger on. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, well, one last thing, yeah. Soldo, before we let you go. Uh, if people are saying I'm going to get kicked off of YouTube, I really hope this doesn't get me in trouble on YouTube because I love the media. <laughs> I love COVID. I don't love COVID. I love the, I, know, I love man. our governments. <laughs> I love our governments. Yeah, I love yeah. the vaccine. I love all this stuff. I love masks. I love double don't masks. Don't worry. Don't worry. Fear not. You are one of the chosen people. They I, can't do anything to you. I got a strike 
two weeks ago because this guy, uh, Alex Stein, came on. You probably have seen him. He does all these funny videos about COVID and stuff. And then he was talking about COVID. And I was talking about how I was going to get a strike just for him being on there. And then I got a YouTube strike. So anyways, they, they don't fuck around. Wow. Um, so anyways, I'm going to let you. What movie are you going to see? Oh, we lost him. Okay. We lost Kevin Soldo. Um, I don't know why he hung up. Hold on. Let me call him back. I'm going to call him back, and we're just going to wrap this up really quickly. And then the phone lines are open, by the way. Uh, as you see, we got that neat little thing. It's just if uh, you call, just don't call if there's somebody on the call because I'm talking to them so that I can't. I don't have a screener yet. We're not We're not quite at the point of having a call screener. You have reached oh, the voice. Oh, we lost him. Okay, that's it. That was Kevin Soldo, everybody. Um, maybe his phone died. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe the government got to him. Maybe those people who he owed $18,000 to, the government...